your baby and you, helping you find your way with your little one. Parental mental health. I struggled with my mental health throughout a lot of my pregnancy. Um, I had some support from the enhanced midwifery team. So I had a wonderful midwife who really, really helped so much. Getting the support you need. An enhanced midwifery service offers one-to-one -one care and additional support for families with additional requirements, such as a mental health condition. She was there at all of my appointments at the hospital and over the phone, through text and phone calls. And we had lots of one-to-one -one appointments at home where we could just discuss and talk through anything that I was worried about. I've been really lucky and I hope every woman gets the support that I've got. I've had depression in pregnancy. I've had so much support from the perinatal team, from the midwives. Getting the support you need. Specialist mental health staff work in the perinatal team to support you and help to plan your care. I think after the, the fourth week, a lot started to change in my body. The woman that I have, she rings me. Um, she lets me text her every day. She comes and visits me. Shortly after Atlas was born, I was diagnosed with PTSD. Luckily, because it's under two years old, you're fast tracked for mental health services. I got support through the One Point Service, which is in Bolton under the NHS, and I also got support through Dead Matters UK, which is a great mental charity. Psychological therapy, also known as counselling, talking therapy, or IAPT, is available in your area. Families expecting a baby or with a child under two years will be prioritised by this service. Your healthcare professional can guide you to further information or assist in your referral. Many Manchester boroughs also have the facility for you to self-refer online. I was calling the helpline quite a lot <laughs> and once you had the colleague as well, I was using that line almost every other day to just uh, get some support and we were really good. She also put me in contact with the early attachment team who are still involved now and we have weekly sessions at home. Can you describe some professional support you've received? I'm under an organisation called Dad Matters, which helps support dads. My advice to you would to be sign up with them because they do antenatal classes. They do walks where you walk with other dads and you talk and you can bring your, your kids with you. It's all about talking to you and getting the support you want. How do you support each other when things are getting on top of you? Just to stay calm. Yeah. To make sure you know I'm, I'm here. Well, look here. Like his nan and granddad are two doors up. So then, if you need that nap, and therefore you need to have a nap, you take that nap. <laughs> you get more tired and more frustrated and overwhelmed, and you need to be 100% for yourself and, and your little one. Yeah, it just helps having that little break just to start again and, and, and remain calm for him. You know, just reassuring me that everything is going to be okay. And it's normal at uh, a stage. Yeah, it's normal because. It's not your first, so you've kind of experienced it already. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite helpful. I had the support of a local breastfeeding support assistant when you were doing the colostrum. She came round and helped with te mm. techniques, gave us a few practical things to try out, like nipple shields. And she was just really yeah. down to earth and really supportive and that really made the difference for us because it felt like a really dark time. For me, it just really made me feel heard. As first time parents, we were just overwhelmed with lots of different things. She just felt like she was someone that had our best interests at heart. I guess the biggest piece of advice I would give to any parent is don't be scared to ask for help. Local services are here to help you through this difficult time. To find out more, speak with your GP, midwife or health visitor. They can also guide you to find the right help from specialist services in perinatal mental health and parent-infant mental health in Greater Manchester. A special thank you to all the parents and babies of Greater Manchester who shared such precious insight and content included in the current and original resources. You can watch the original resources by searching Getting It Right From The Start on YouTube where you can find the 10 original chapters. Please watch next, Your Baby and You Chapter 6, Neonatal Unit.